can't even get my phone to prop up right now. I just hit 100,000 followers on YouTube. I just hit 100,000 followers on YouTube. It doesn't feel real. It feels like when you're trying to manifest something and you say it out loud to like believe it before it happens. That's what this feels like. I had 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. What? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna get a YouTube plaque. I literally remember watching beauty YouTubers, all different kinds of YouTubers, honestly, back when I was in high school. And a lot of people not getting that and thinking that it was weird. And obviously this was like before influencer culture. And I loved watching it and I wanted so badly to be a YouTuber, but I was way too scared. Honestly, like after being bullied so much my whole life, I just wanted to fit in and I wanted that more than anything. I just didn't want to like make myself a target in any way, shape or form. And the reactions that people had to me watching YouTube were enough to discourage me from actually filming and uploading YouTube videos. Like I just honestly don't think I was strong enough back then to handle that. That's crazy. Like I just wanted this life so much, but I was just convinced that it wasn't for me and I was never gonna do it. And I filmed my first video so many times and just for one reason or another, I didn't upload it or my camera would break in the middle of it. And then I was just like a broke college student and I couldn't afford to get a camera and then I was going to law school, like I took the LSAT. I never actually went to law school, but I took the LSAT and I got two majors. I got a um, double bachelor's degree and then I was convinced that I was too old. And when I brought it up to people that it was a dream of mine, it just seemed so far-fetched, I think. And... I don't have a lot of like entrepreneurs in my life and so it just it sounded really risky and really scary and I don't think anybody in my life really like understood or consumed influencer content as much as me to like be able to see that it was like a realistic goal that it could be something that I could do and support myself on and I think I just really needed other people's validation and so I didn't do it. And then finally I looked around and I wasn't happy. And I just realized like, this is what I always wanted to do. And I knew it deep down, but everybody said it was like too vain or I was too smart or it would be like a waste of my talents, which none of that makes any sense. Um, now looking back at it, but like just, I just thought everybody else knew better than me. And so then I was like, okay, what can utilize my talents and I could be successful at and I would be somewhat happy at. And that's how I decided to be a lawyer. And, but it was just everybody I met. Like there are some amazing happy lawyers out there, but every single lawyer I met would just talk about their dreams and what they wish that they could do. And if they didn't have their like law job tomorrow, what would they do? All the lawyers I interacted with were fantasizing about living a different life. And I was like, why am I settling for a job where these people who it was their first dream aren't even happy? And it just didn't make sense. And I knew I would regret it. And finally, I started gaining the confidence and I didn't feel like I needed to be accepted to love myself. I felt like maybe I could love myself despite what anybody else said. And granted, that's still something I'm really working on. That's something that like is night and day from when I first started this whole page to now and like how much I can say that I love myself now and how much I don't do things for the approval of others. But there was just like an enough in me to actually say I don't care what other people think and I'm going to try it because I know I'll always regret it if I don't and here we are and it is insane and I'm so proud of myself for 
doing it anyways. And yeah, there were so many people at the beginning that thought it was kind of like weird. And I'm sure a lot of people said even worse stuff behind my back, but I'm just so proud that I did this to begin with and that I started because I would have never been here if I didn't start. And now looking back, I can't imagine myself as a lawyer. And I know I would be one of those people that was just fantasizing about this. And even when I was starting this, I just took a nine to five job. I never planned for that to be a career or anything. And I just kept thinking to myself, okay, what if this doesn't work out? Like, what if I'm never able to amass a following? What if I'm never able to get a consistent income stream? Like, then what? And I literally couldn't think of anything else. The only other job that like, kind of I could have maybe seen was me doing this on the other side so like working for a brand and like working with influencers but still like there was just no backup I didn't have anything else that I could see myself doing and it really is my dream to wake up every single day and do this and there are so many parts that are hard but there's parts that are hard with every single job and even though a lot of weeks I work way more than I ever did in a nine to five or even like when I worked in politics, this does not feel like I'm working. It is fulfilling and inspiring and it lets me be creative and it fills me up and none of the hard times feel nearly as hard as any of the other hard times that I had like working for other people or working for other companies. And I really have all of that to thank from you guys. And I I just wanna say like, I really, really appreciate more than I'll ever be able to express every single person that follows me, that comments, that watches my videos, that messages me, like, it really means a lot to me and I'll always be indebted to you and I just want to know how much of an impact, like even if you just casually consume my content, how much of a big impact that has on my life and how grateful I am. So thank you so much and I love you guys all.